Hi guys, this is Brian Lenny of Junior Shock Review Premium. Uh, day one of Metals Investors Forum. I'm here with Cancer Our Resources, specifically CEO Rob Brugman. Um, we're going to go through a little bit on the company. Uh, Rob, first to start, can you give us an overview of Cancer? Sure, yeah. So Cancer uh, focused on Newfoundland, which is a really exciting jurisdiction right now, um, especially with what Newfound Gold has been doing at Queensway, um, because up until uh, really their discovery, people just assumed there wasn't a lot of gold in Newfoundland, and that's proven to be totally incorrect. So if you've got this first world jurisdiction with roads, with power, with a, a pro-mining government as well, where all of a sudden it's opening to expiration. I think you're going to get a lot of discoveries that are going to be made. Um, you know, it's not the easiest expiration in terms of the, the, the structure um, which controls the mineralization. It tends to be fairly tight. It can be deep as well. Um, but I mean, if, if gold was easy to find, there'd be a lot of it, right? Yeah. Um, so we are definitely an exploration company looking for discoveries. Yeah, I think we've got a fantastic property. It follows the same structural corridor, um, that Queensway from Newfound Gold is on and it's big. It's 774 square kilometers. Um, it's elongated cause it follows these structures. It's about 150 kilometers end to end and we are, you know, we've got people on the ground picking up rocks, looking for gold. Um, but so far, so good. Um, you know, those people picking up rocks have delineated about 40 kilometers of gold anomalies at surface. And I think that's actually going to get bigger because some of the, the other areas at both ends are more remote. So we just haven't gone there to look. Mm. Um, and these are significant anomalies. Um, at the both ends of that 40 kilometer trend, you've got 60 plus gram samples, um, which is nothing to sneeze at. Um, and then a whole bunch of gold anomalies in between. So this is definitely, it's a district. There's a major trend there. You know, this isn't one deposit that has just kind of been disseminated throughout. I think you're going to see multiple deposits there and our goal is to find them. Um, we, the int the most interesting area we've been in is called the Kendall Prospect. Mm -hmm. So that's actually where we've done some drilling as well. And the genesis of that was back in 2019, our partners, Altius, who we optioned this property from, uh, they, well, they and uh, the prospectors we optioned it from found a 4,485 gram per ton sample. And that was actually the first instance of visible gold on the property. Um, so we found multiple instances now of visible gold. Um, We've got disseminated gold as well. Um, it's fairly pervasive, but yeah, it's really the high grade gold is what we're after. And that's what uh, Newfound Gold has been finding as well. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the, the overview where I guess in terms of the company, uh, market cap right now is pretty compelling. It's 15 million market cap. We have uh, about 6 million in cash, which is funding this year's program. We keep G&A very light. So my background is equity research, investment, I view this as an investor, not, you know, not so much the paycheck. And so G&A is, uh, is about half a million a year because we want to see the money go into the ground. We want to find that gold. Um, the other person that wants us to find that gold is our biggest shareholder, Eric Sprott, who's a 26% shareholder. Yeah. And he's great to have. And he's, he's a giant fan of Newfoundland. Absolutely. And so you, got, you sort of oriented us. So we're in that central gold belt. Uh, you guys are just south of Newfound Gold's um, project, um, right in right in the heart of it, like you said. Um, you guys did make uh, what I think is a significant discovery last year at the Kendall Prospect. Uh, can you take us through that discovery and kind of, uh, you know, how it's shaping into this year's program? Sure, yeah. Yeah, so Kendall is a good one because the uh, that high-grade gold mineralization actually daylights at surface. And so the initial thing we did is we trenched it just to get a, a sense of the widths, the orientation, and uh, then that was followed up by actually two rounds of drilling now. Uh, we've got results pending from the second phase of drilling, which we did in March, uh, February, March. Okay. Um, so we think we'll get that out in the next few weeks. Before that, though, in 2021, we drilled um, 36 holes. 32 of those hit gold mineralization. Um, the best one, ironically, was the first hole, which hit 9.6 grams per ton gold over 7.75 meters. And that was, so that stepped back from the trench, but it was only uh, really about five meters from surface. Uh, this is a shallow dipping system. 
uh, and it's actually on the side of a hill as well. So even now where we are, uh, we've followed this mineralization for about 200 meters, but even where we are there, we're only about 50 meters deep. So the beauty of that is um, you know, when we drill, there's short holes, um, it's relatively inexpensive to drill there too. And so the, the dollars go a lot further. Um, so we'll be back in there, I think, in the fall to drill some more. But the other thing is we've got all these other areas that are very prospective and we want to drill those. Um, one kind of key area, so Kendall is where we drill. We got 1.2 kilometers to the northeast of that. Uh, we found this boulder at what we call the skitter target. So we call it the skitter boulder. It was this um, about 40 centimeter angular boulder. And that's important because if it's angular, it means it hasn't traveled. It was all rounded, you know, it could have come from anywhere. This thing is pretty angular, visible gold in it, some galena as well, but in quartz veins, exactly the stuff we're looking for. The question is, where did that come from? You know, you get this boulder sitting there. We know it, the source is nearby, but you've got till cover there because there's been glaciation. Um, so that's one of the goals for this year is seeing if we can find the source of that boulder. And one of uh, the tools we've been using for that, and we just started that last year, is till sampling. So we take a 10 kilogram till sample, send it off to a company called ODM. They actually count the number of gold grains within that sample because that's kind of representative of prospectivity. Um, but they also look at the gold grains under the microscope. And so because gold is so malleable, Again, if it's rounded, it's probably traveled at least a couple of hundred meters, maybe further. Mm -hmm. If it's pristine, if it's a, more like a flake, that means the source is nearby. And so obviously that's what we like to see because it means you know, you're not guessing where it came from. We also look at the, the glaciation direction. So we know it's more or less north to south than where we are. Um, and so what we found around this skitter area is we found um, certainly anomalous gold in the tills, but also very high pristine gold counts. So that okay. means, you know, hopefully that applies to that boulder. The source is going to be nearby. We're doing some IP and we'll use other methods. And we'll try to really condense that area um, and then we'll drill it. Um, so that's kind of the... Uh, I guess those are the highlights. I'll, I'll, I'll touch on one more thing, actually. The other thing that happened with this till sampling program, which covered an area of about five kilometers by one kilometer, is at the northeast corner of that, we had a sample that had 502 grains of gold. Mm. And you know, anything over 10 or 20 grains is certainly anomalous. We're happy with stuff that's 60 to 80. Um, yeah, we know there's gold in that area. 500 plus is, is pretty compelling. So the question is, you know, where did that one come from? So that's opened up an area uh, to the Northeast as well. But, you know, we've got a number of these and a lot of them are earlier stage or prospecting you know, as people picking up these rocks and looking at them, we send them off to the lab and sample them. And then you get something, I say that's, you know, 30, 60 grams per ton. And you say, yeah, let's go take a closer look. Let's trench it if we can. So the goal is do all this work to define drill targets because drilling is how you make discoveries. Absolutely. Okay, guys, uh, I think the value proposition in CanStar is pretty uh, straightforward. Uh, you know, exploration is high risk, high reward. You want to find companies that are exploring large tracts of land, have the cash to explore it and are doing all the right steps um, to, to spend that cash in the most efficient manner. CanStar checks all the boxes and they've got a great team of people that are doing it. Um, I'm an investor in CanStar and that's the reason why they're with the Junior Stock Review Premium Portfolio. If you have any other questions, please let us know. Thank you.